as a man thinking. Chico Bean. Carlos Miller. What's the word, player? Man, we at the Backwoods Lounge, 85 South at the Jet Life Studios. We got uh, one of New Orleans' finest in here with us, man. What's Poppinson? Mario the Comic? You know what I mean? You think I'm going to fuck up my chances of being a real nigga by snitch? Close. 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 By Don't saying, who, I know who done it, I really know who done it, and I ain't going to tell y'all who done it? Close. Close. I'll run it. Scary little bitch, please. You think I'm about to miss my chance of becoming a real nigga by telling you who did it when I know who did it, but I ain't about to tell you because I'm going to take the charge? That's what real niggas do. You got the game fucked up out here. You a whole whole out, out here. Exactly. You a whole <laughs> whole out here. The one and only Mario, man. You what's know that, what I mean? What's Mario, that, what's the that, comedian what's in this bitch what's with us. What's that, dog? How you feeling, man? Good. Always, you feel me? Even when it's bad, good. You feel me? You know how I go. You dig? Man, for those that don't know, tell the people about yourself, man. Where you from, how you got started, all that good shit. Facts, facts. Mario P. right here from New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, born and raised. Uh, I got. I started comedy uh, the year the Saints won the Super Bowl. I guess it's so significant. That's we, irrelevant. That's what? That's very don't, irrelevant. Don't don't ever do that ever in your life again. Since we, I live in Atlanta and they know that, that that robbery is real, I'm not about to sit here and let you yeah, do that. Yeah, so I, want, I, started, I started comedy when the Saints won the Super Bowl in, in 2011 when Peyton Manning uh, threw that pick for his daddy. That was for his daddy. That wasn't for us. He put a pick for his daddy. But yeah, I started comedy in 2011. Uh, I, I had a lot of stuff going on, and I really started comedy for therapeutic reasons. You feel me? I had like my, my little brother had caught a life sentence, and a lot, of, a lot of stuff. My mom was in prison, and so it's just, a lot of bad thoughts was going on in my head. And so you know, it's, I just felt like I was going through the process of, of, of just knowing myself, and I'm just thankful that I found comedy and shit. Like it saved my life. My, my, yeah, my mom's been in prison since I, uh, my mom was in prison when I was three. Uh, she she got out like five years ago. Uh, That's she what's up. Much, Congratulations yeah, she, on yeah, that. you feel That's me? Salute Welcome to that, home, man. Yeah. It's beautiful. Have, yeah. has, have y'all been able to rekindle y'all relationship? Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's getting there. It's you getting know, there? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really getting there. I, uh, nigga just human, dog. So, yeah. you know, my mom been gone my whole life. So my stepmom, I don't like to say stepmom. Your other mom. My mama, mother mama, Miss Linda, she raised me. To be who I am, uh, she passed on me. She died on me a few years ago. So. Well, well, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. My, yeah. Both we know that pain, yeah. bro. Yeah. Both our mamas yeah. Yeah. passed that's, away. That was my so. baby. You feel you me? So I mean? she 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 really raised me. To be honest with me, like you know, my my dad, you know, he he came to picture kind of late, but uh, he was married to her. Okay. So she had been on it since we've been kids. So well, when my mom was in jail and she found out my uh, my dad got back with her. She did everything she could to get us in, get us in her, in her custody because okay. she knew we had a chance. You feel me? So if if we if we was able to get back to Miss Linda, we had a chance. But you know, you know the streets how the streets says. So right. it's a bad and good side. <clears throat> what side uh, of New Orleans you from? I'm 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 a mutt. I call I like to call myself a mutt. I'm from all sides. You feel okay. me? From uh, the whole city. I'm from the whole side, uptown and downtown. I rub I rub downtown. I'm off of Dumaine and Sixth Wall, but I grew up uptown on Valence and Magnolia. Oh, you feel okay. me? Yeah. Is so. it a difference when you come from a certain? I mean, with your comedy, like, do the do do? How, well, how big? Better questions. How big is New Orleans in as an influence in your comedy and what you talk about in your style and all of that? Uh, it's a huge influence, to be honest with you. Uh, I used to get a lot of static about just doing New Orleans comedy, but I just know how strong our culture is. So, number one, I don't think negative. You know, I just look at stuff different. You feel me? So. I know we, we have a real rich culture. A lot of people that's from here look at it the wrong way. It's really like it's some indigenous stuff, you feel me? So it's made for us, but what I do is I just make it more uh, universal to where like when I'm either on stage, if I'm doing some, some content, I'm able to like convey it and make it relatable so people can understand it, you feel me? So you dig? So it's like without the culture, my comedy wouldn't be, it wouldn't stand out. Like I use rap lyrics, you hear me? Yeah. My, in, uh, in the first 48, I'm using Boosie lyrics. <laughs> I'm using Soldier Slim lyrics. Uh, I, I, when I did Boosie movie, <coughs> I, did, I did juvenile lyrics. I was like, uh, don't touch my shit, don't drive my shit. I got dope in the house and I had my, when I was uh, in prison, when I was on the prison scene with Boosie, pretty much everything that I do, it's, it's tied to the culture, especially the rap music. Uh, a lot of my homies and, and, and uh, comrades, they artists, producers, Videographers, so it, it's real heavy. You People been showing you love from the movie with Boosie. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my dog Boosie. Facts. The, f the first one, uh, tr uh, uh, my struggle. That one did its thing. You yeah. feel me? Uh, after my struggle, I had uh, did a movie called Trying to Come Up. We did two of them. 
trying to come up one and two. Those are the, those two probably one of my fa- my favorite experiences with movies because I shot it with, with people that that's like me from here. Yeah. It's, it's called trying to come up. It's on Tubi. Uh, one Fucking with them Tubi yeah. movies. Yeah. I already, yeah. you already know that's for, that's why I'm shouting it out because I know you're gonna check it out. You feel me? Most definitely. Yeah, you feel we me? love a, we love a good Tubi movie. <laughs> on this facts, bitch. facts. You think Tubi gonna start doing like? You think Tubi gonna start doing like uh, women women reality shows? How you think that? Yeah, be? That'd it be got a few ratchet, of them. That be some ratchet stuff. I got. I think I watched one called "I Want to Start Stripping Tonight" or something. <laughs> I want to stop stripping. Yeah, they got one on there what? with uh, they got, the, a, what, they got on one on there with the lesbian. They got a, like a lesbian Phil? reality show. What? For real? Yeah. That's what's up. Damn. That's what's up. I'm That's gonna fuck up. around. We're gonna find a way to get us on that Hell platform. Hell yeah. Hey, bro, Tubi. The, Tubi is like the uh, whoever made Tubi. He must. He was, he must used to sell uh, DVDs. Cause that nigga get it. He gets it. <laughs> For real, he get it, dog. Like you know, I, ain't I like the freedom of yeah, the press. Yeah, facts, man. Put. Push yeah. it out there and let the people decide. Exactly, man. I, I think that's very important. That the narrative needs to be in control of the artist. So, uh, people may, people people say like uh, Tubi is like the Instagram of movies, and I agree. You know, it's you know we we've been taught like a lot of stuff not reachable. So I just think it's good that we're able to get out and and produce our own content and place it on platforms for ourselves. You feel that's me? what I was gonna ask you because you do put out a lot of content. I do. Like, what's been your your drive to keep going, even when you know because. We all got social media. You know, some days your shit might get 400,000, and some, some days, days that motherfucker 4, might get four, and then you like, damn. Uh, so I, I I do a lot of content, right, but not every day because you know how life is, bro. Stuff be happening, so that way I can stay consistent. So, man, I just found I found smarter ways to do it. So I, the smart way was stop focusing on if I can go viral and just put out content. The shit and that you yeah, to do. and just start worrying you about got some classic people. shit. I like yeah. it, uh, when the when the hood niggas dance to the R and B <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Or that's, going back to the old hoods and finding out that uh, they ain't the ain't, hood. This no ain't more. the new year? That one This ain't the new year? Yeah, that was my one I think I like that one better than first forty eight, the whole whole out here. That was I feel like I was born on I was born from the this ain't the new year, not the first forty eight. I don't you know, first forty eight when I went viral, you know people, what niggas thought that shit was real. That's yeah, why that I know. Shit went. I was about to say, man, people didn't even know it was. It was I, I, I was me. <laughs> they didn't. I saw a crackhead at the store. Like, ain't you the nigga that had shot the nigga and said the nigga hole and he ran and he out you? That's when I knew I was famous when a rockhead saw me. Hey man, ain't gonna lie. I was just about to ask, how yeah. did you know that was it? A crackhead yeah, in the gas the station. That'd do it every time. Nah, it's your yeah, fault. Cause some, like you know how a nigga be. You might fuck around and get to feeling good and talking shit. Sometimes I just look right at the bitch and be like, rest in peace, little well. <laughs> <laughs> You know, pe- people thought Lil Wilt was a real person. I'm like, nah, I made him up too. <laughs> Some nigga tried to lie. I was like, man, you, you talking about my uncle, brother. Give us all credit. Nigga, I don't know your uncle. <laughs> Lying ass nigga. Somtimes I just yell that shit out. Yeah, man. bro. Kevin ain't feeling all, all the time, nigga? Shit. Huh? All the time? So, Just, yeah. Uh, rest in peace, Lil Wilt. So you say you started comedy in 2011. How did you start? Did you start doing sketches or did you start on oh, stage? Stand up. I'm a, I'm a stand up baby. Like in New Orleans. Uh, I started comedy was like prehistoric. It wasn't. It wasn't a thing. It wasn't like popular. Down here, comedy is a new rap. Influences the new rap. Like for real. Like like I'm not even gonna downplay our scene. Like we can't. Nobody can't. We can't be fucked with down here. Influences and, co- and comedians. But like we the new new. And <coughs> I, I got the receipts to prove it. Like everybody yeah, doing yeah. their thing. You feel me? So I've been that, coming that, down yeah, here so man. fucking long, right. man. Like you said, a lot yeah. of niggas, you know, it was like shot it feel shot good. Shot it feel good. You and did a lot of yeah. shows and shit together. Nigga, I came down here and did shows on the boat. On the boat? Yeah, nigga. The my dog, Blowfish. Law, Blowfish. Uh-huh. Yeah, Blowfish. Blowfish, Black God bless the day, my nigga. dog. Yeah. He, ta- he dog. taught me a lot, Blow. You know, I was new to the game, of course, but like dudes like Shotty and Blow was already doing their thing. So, yeah. There was like, there was, there was really helpful. There was like big, tough brothers. Like, I remember I asked Blow some advice. <laughs> I was like, bro, you, you think this shit for me? That boy said, I can't answer that. You gotta figure it out yourself. <laughs> you right. feel me? You know what I'm saying? But like, that, I that remember stuff when needed. that nigga first started coming around like Atlanta and shit. Yeah. He had called me and he was like, man, you gotta fuck with me, man. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. I'm a blind comedian. I was like, what? Yeah, people thought he wasn't blind. And that nigga was for real. Yeah, he, like, the yeah. shit that he talked, you would never know that. But he wasn't always like that. The the, the diabetes. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I watched my, my dog go from that to. That, but the most motiv- motivational thing about it is that he never changed who he was. Right. You know, all the way to you know he went to the other side. He 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 stayed who he was, even when he couldn't help. When he even when it looked like he couldn't help, he did. You feel mm-hmm. me? Just his his, his presence. Cause rest in peace to Boogie B. Too. Yes, indeed. Rest in peace, Boogie B. That's the homie. That's yeah. a that's another guy that that uh, that showed me 
a lot of ropes. When I went to, when I went out to LA uh, and did some spots, I did the Laugh Factory. Boogie B had showed me around, and and dudes like him and Blowfish, it's like they they energy can't be replaced. Yeah. Cause those real genuine people. What's some of the spots that you came up doing around the city? Uh, <clears throat> this place called uh, Comedy Gumbo on Thursdays with the dude Ray Bean. Uh, What's my dog? Shout yeah, out to Ray Bean. Shout out Ray Bean. Uh, Corey Mac. Corey, Corey Mac. Mac. Shout out to my dog Corey yeah, Mack. So Corey, I knew Corey Mack before he was a hippie. <laughs> I knew Corey Mack when he wore button-up shirts and got his hair cut every week and he bruh. was Carlton. See how you loud, bro. Now he's a, a fucking free spirit. Yeah, a real hippie. free spirit. My dog free spirit like nigga like eight. Hey. And Lena. Yeah, yeah, in fact, shout out to both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, he used to have me go around and uh, I used to go to his spots with him and Man, set up his comedy shows. he used to come shows. over my house and get high and play Guitar Hero. Six hours. You play straight. guitar for real now. I know, but really? this before all that. Facts. <laughs> I need like I need like this finger. You got a lighter? I got like this finger. Lighters. I asked my partner to roll me a, a little something. He rolled me the whole something. Yeah, he yeah, he put all of it in there. I ain't gonna have no more left for later. I have a I have a viral video I did with my home. It was it was real though at first, but we turned to a skit. I had gave him like a three five to put in a, to, to mean to roll out of, and I came yeah. back and it was all gone. Nah, I like to roll my shit blunt. about the size of them in the pack. You ever meet a nigga, you ever meet a nigga unroll a blunt and take your weed out of it? <laughs> you said sure, that like man. you that nigga. He said yeah. that like you the nigga that did that. I just want my that. shit to be about back to the size that it was when it came out so, of the pack. So <laughs> nah, motherfuckers will see nah, it and it think before. that it's just a... A backwood? Yeah. Don't, so, that, don't that hurt when you go inside a backwood pack and you think it's a backwood in there, but it's really like the guts? That's yeah. aggravating, huh? It motherfuckers be like, oh, there's about three of them in there. <laughs> Shout out to Backwoods for making all this shit Jax, possible. What would you say was your, you know, starting comedy is always unique because you're trying to find your, find your voice on stage and all of that. But what would you say was that first joke that you knew you had one? Uh, I do a joke about uh, Luther Vandross. Oh shit. Yeah, and I had to trade water softly on it. You know how black women feel about Luther. Yeah. So I have I presented right. It's I've been doing a joke for nine years. Yeah. You feel me? Uh, that one and uh, <coughs> my joke about uh, side uh, 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 side chick songs, uh, saving all my love for you and uh, sweet thing. That's like my favorite. That's my favorite jokes to do. I like to break down songs because you know, growing up, you really listen to lyrics, and then later on, you find out what they really meant. Like uh, this song called "Love Come Down." Yeah. I didn't know that she was talking about catching that one. Yeah. You know, yeah. Squirt. You make yeah. my love come down. Ooh, you ain't like enough. Come down. Come down. Like, yeah, I, I do the same it. type of I shit on stage. That, that, <clears throat> people don't see the value in that, like being Everybody. able to, you know, dissect the real meaning of music and, and being able to, to, to point out different aspects of Facts. what people said in Facts. songs. Because they've been listening to it for so long, but you like, it's take something as simple as you saying you ain't never paid attention to the fact that they said this and right. make people open their minds up to what the fuck they listening to. That's the beauty of comedy though for me. It's like we see stuff in a different way. Right. It's like it like for like uh, with us life it slows down like we get to catch stuff that people don't catch. That's the dope part about it for me, you hear me? I got I like the joke when I talk about Birdman and, and he and he have a he have a, a, a bar when I, he have some lyrics and uh play while you hate. He was like uh uh Juve got 10 and BG got 20. But my third two goals, nigga, we all in it. That's algebra. You, you, you know, I try to add that up, but it's still an add up third. Is that, is that 32? That's, what, that's 40? No, yeah. he was saying he got 32 goals. I'm, that's how I first learned about Baby, was B with the 32 <coughs> goals. I need a bag of dope. All right, B32, that's what we call him, B32. I, B32. Thought, he was, I thought he was doing algebra. Nah, I need I a bag of dope. <laughs> you know what I mean? He yeah, is. that was. Say, I asked y'all a question. Baller blocking. Yes. What, 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 how did y'all, what, what was y'all doing? How, how, how did y'all feel when y'all first saw Baller? How did y'all feel when y'all first saw like Juvenile and BG in the movie? Was it funny to y'all? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, <laughs> nigga. You know what I mean? Like The funniest shit though was when AJ Johnson was talking to BG. Yeah. He said, where's the guns and where's the dope? <laughs> he said, your old lady house up your ass. He said, did that nigga just say up your, your lady on him? <laughs> Man, when they was interrogating Hell them yeah. Niggas. And then when they caught them niggas in the project, yeah. man, this fucking car hot. You a hot boy, boy, lay your ass on a hot car. Hot boy, hot boy, boy, hot boy, bling, bling, bling. Man, that shit was, yeah. right. that's a top five ghetto Bro, movie. Yeah. But exactly. I don't, hey, a lot of people want to argue. What's up? You got baller blocking? All right. I'm about it. I'm about it. Baller blocking. I got to go, I'm about it. I got to go, I'm baller blocking. I got to go, I'm about it. What y'all, baller blocking, I'm about it? I'm about it. I'm about it. I'm about it. I'm about it. 
Not Mia Sue X, man. Shit. Not Sue Mia Shine. X, Mia X, really? man. Mia X really got one of my favorite. One of my favorite for two dollars, <laughs> nigga. Say, man, one of my favorite parts of I'm about it with both they shooting dice and me and X like you see this? Through the bullet at a nigga caught a see if yeah, you catch bro. the next one, nigga. I'm like, oh that No, she no, did, she didn't top tier acting now. When she was mourning at the it funeral. Was fast, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Who the fuck that was? Uh, uh <laughs> me and X acting on about it. When yeah. she was mourning. Fall over the car. Uh, I no. said, bro, come the on, bro. The best scene in the whole movie is when Dolphin Willie walk up and them niggas say, now that nigga had a million dollars before. <laughs> I can make a million <laughs> dollars in two days, nigga. <laughs> bro. <Bruh. laughs> when he Master got to arguing with the little homie. Mm -hmm. See, now, that's he the thing. He was a comedic relief. The, the, was. the culture, like you said, that come out of New Orleans, when you're not from here, like I was just talking about just how much of an impact that y'all culture had on the world. Like, cause I know coming up in DC, like when I first heard Master P, you couldn't tell me that nigga wasn't doing every single thing that he was saying. He did on the everything, record. he did everything. You know what I mean? Like, he did everything. He just that, that music was so influential to us. Man, so, I've seen Master P from do so many yeah. great things. I don't think what he was, was ever you? told a lie. That nigga been in the NBA. Yep. So 500 He made it all record. three ways. And he wrestled. He's a wrestler too. Y'all remember he wrestled? Nigga, WWE. damn show. WWE. WWE. He wrestled. Yeah, nigga, this nigga wrestled. This nigga was wrestling. This nigga Master, Master P, P wrestled. He got all cereal, soup, tennis shoes, and tampons. Tampon, no limit toys, no limit films. That nigga was raised in off eggs and luncheon meat, nigga. Nigga, he's a, he's nigga. That nigga. is the Aristotle. And don't forget, don't forget, it. don't forget. He was, he was, he was Ricky Williams' agent. Come on, he, he was bullshit. Ricky Williams' agent. Yeah, he was, bro. So, so coming from New Orleans, what would you say is like the most impactful piece of music for you coming out this city? All of it. The bounce music. That's. I thought that would be the answer. Yeah, I'm saying like that's that's that the, that's the start of it. Different. You feel me? It is. Yeah. It's, a, it's That's our that tribal shit. music. You yeah, that me? shit yeah. make all black people Hell feel yeah. something. Yeah, Black Lives Matter. Come on. That's the one right there. Nah, that shit uh, funny. How the, you the, just all in them the random bounce music. Locations. It's like the shit. root. You know the well. One of the main ingredients. Right. So, I, I, but I gotta say all of it. Uh, like the early bounce rap. The early. The early oh, I'm, oh, oh, excuse me. The early bounce. The early rap music. The early early rap music down here. You know, I was young, but you know, I grew up. You know, listening to uh, the PNCs and uh, you know, uh, damn uh, fiends and uh, you know, uh, ghetto twins. You know, people like that. Ghetto so, Twins. Ghetto I thought twins. them was some niggas when yeah, I first yeah, heard that's them. That's my babies right there. You ghetto Twins go hot. Yes, yeah. indeed. I that's started small time, dope game, <laughs> cocaine, pushing rocks on the block. I'm never broke, man. Damn, Chico, you, like, you sure you're not from here? I mean, I could be. Yeah. You know what I mean? I could be. Where would you just, be from if you was from here? Huh? What, what, you, what, what, would you be, what would you be from if you was from here? Uh, Probably probably wherever the, uh, what they said, the, uh, 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 all the niggas, the flat niggas, that uptown? That's uptown. Yeah, uptown. Because I'm from uptown, You got the nine wall. You know that. You got the nine wall. You heard me? You got the nine. You got the third wall. You got yeah, the third so, wall. You got, so, so from now on, you got the third wall, and you got the nine wall. That's the, that's the two biggest walls in, in New Orleans. Oh, for real? Yeah. Now, where was the, uh, the, the, the paradise, well, not the paradise, the, uh, the, uh, what was it in the ninth ward? The, what? uh, the big projects. Oh, the big projects in the ninth ward, Desire and the Florida. Desire, there you Des go. Desire and the Florida. And the Florida. Yeah. Big ass projects. <laughs> so that's the thing. Like it's projects spread all across New Orleans. So like, is it broke down? It's broke down by waters. That's how you know if you, if you that, say you're from the Ninth Ward, where people already know you either from. Nah, it's like okay. So it's all broken down by wards, but it's like it's funny because they all have their own sections inside the wards. Like if if you say you're from the Ninth Ward, you have to say what section you out In of the Ninth, ninth Ward. If you say if you say you have the Third Wall, you have to say which section. You out of the third wall. If you say you out of New Orleans East, if you out the East, you have to say what section you out from the East, and it's straight just like that. You can't just say like one area. Right. You have to like it's like a thing of knowing. We all have our designated areas where we be at and grew up, but it's still it's all still connected to me. You feel every, me? Every city got they you know they oh. era. You know what I'm saying or where 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 you you know you really had to get your name at in the city. So in your era, where would you say that everybody went to? To, to you know that was the meetup spot or the spot that you had to be seen at to be a real New Orleans. Well, um, growing up for me is is the growing up for me before Katrina, which when it was city had a, high, a whole lot of more love. Oh, they cutting up. 
uh, second lines and DJs. You feel me? What is a DJ? A, uh, it's when like an outside party. just party. come outside and start yeah, in New Orleans, music like you know, you can, you can just set up well. anywhere and they'll just have a have a outside party. Uh, of course, the second lines. That's when everybody like get to. Show the ass. Shit. I cool. thought that was when somebody passed away, right? Nah, uh, uh, uh. It ain't just that's, for them. It's uh, not just for them. It's, it's, okay. it's, it's really a thing of celebration. Okay. You know, uh, like, you know, that's, it would be a home going. You could do okay. it for your birthday. Yeah. Like, if you want to kick a chick out, play some second line music. That's when everybody, that's what they play when it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> play second line music to her. She gonna, like, she gonna know what time She gonna know it's time to yeah, leave when yeah, you play the second yeah, line. Yeah, second line music. So second lines and um, like, our culture is big on, uh, big on fashion and gloating so you know uh and music so uh before bef- uh, before before katrina you had to really get you had to really be outside for people to know who you was you had to be like doing stuff not just the negative shit, but like if if you play sports if you rap you really had to be outside because like a lot of artists ain't have to leave here to, to make no money uh, uh, you know we, we on our own island down here bro so right. you have to really be out even right now you got to be outside you can be on, like in new orleans you can be on social media but People still gotta see you outside doing your thing because you can only hold it. You can only like hold that stuff up so long. They heard, you, they, 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 they heard y'all out here, bro, and they, they showing the ass, bro. They mad. I saw a nigga passing a in a Tudo Corolla. You feel me? Gun that bitch. Gun that motherfucker, bro. Y'all had niggas turned up. With the antenna pulled back. <laughs> Why they don't do that on the car no more? Don't remember they used to put the dumb ass antenna on them? All right, fuck everything digital. I think they should just bring up yeah, the dumbass antennas. The antennas. And remember, do you remember the? You remember when niggas had TVs and steering wheels? Remember that era? Yeah. My God. For that, fucking what? That's dangerous. For what? I don't know. That's that pimp my nigga, ride nigga era right there. They have nine there. TVs in the car. Man, we heard you like toast, so we put a bread maker <laughs> in your glove compartment. <laughs> just to be I the know, dumbest the shit. Just speaking under the cars era. They did a lot of dumb shit on him, my <laughs> rat. They, they put did. a bubble maker in somebody's car. <laughs> they put some a fish tank and they put a fish tank in somebody's car. Yeah. My man likes to do karaoke, so we put a karaoke <laughs> set up in his trunk. The first complete era. with strobe lights and a bubble machine. Y'all ever wanted a pimp, ride, pimp my ride to come to you all spot? You ever thought they were? No, nah, I don't want them motherfuckers touching oh, really? none they of my fake, ride. They fake old school makers. Who? A pimp my ride. You think nah, so? they don't do the type. I'm from the South. We like our shit a certain Facts. kind of way. Facts. That shit was like, that's like Facts. candy I know. I know. type shit. I know. Yeah. Uh, uh, MTV. Chip would, Foose. I already had Chip MTV, Foose do some shit. What it was? Uh, MTV Cribs was the first Airbnbs. It was. Think about it. MTV Cribs, the first Airbnbs. That wasn't their Cribs. Come on. I'm, I say I'm hot, but I'm here. Yeah. MTV Cribs, the first Airbnbs, dog. Said niggas was renting them houses. Come on, man. I feel you. Come on, man. Hey, man, it don't matter. If you pay the rent, you live there. That's a good tell point. It, tell it to the people that got sued that threw them parties. No, I'm just saying, I mean, if, right. you, was, if you was renting a big-ass crib and you knew you was about to be out there, bitch, in six months, you ain't going to show <laughs> your ass. Man, niggas gonna come. What a nigga gonna say? Right. Man, he was renting that bitch. Nigga, I didn't wanna own this big motherfucking. Yeah, this with an electric bill, thirteen hundred a month. You high, but you here. I feel you. Yeah. Give me some, give me some that's what that. you supposed to do. Right. You supposed to rent them bitches and, and wipe stack shit all on the wall. No, right. Don't wipe no shit on the wall. Right. Get your and deposit you, back. Right. First. Then you take that and get you a condo and you still balling. And then wipe shit I on the wall. I sold that bitch. I rent now. I'm renting the condo. Y'all niggas. I see I'm really see you if high, you but think you about it on some business shit, flexing is really how you make money. All right. Now why would you buy a mansion if you could just rent one? Damn. That mean if some be fucked up, you just call the people who own it and be like, hey, it's fucked up. <laughs> I don't I'm not paying no hundred and seventy five thousand dollars to fix the roof. Facts. All the right. The motherfucker who owns it will. Learn yeah. me, learn me. The learn pool me. fucked up. That bill seven thousand. Facts. That's a big ass pool. It's a big motherfucking pool. And you can't get your cousin. Why would I pay for this? You can't get your cousin no pool like hey, that. Hey, people who I rent this place <laughs> from, come fix y'all shit. I got three months left. Right. My condo almost ready. Right, and then they gonna have to fix the shit of the <laughs> condo too. Exactly. Hell yeah, maintenance man. Oh shit. Think you gotta have a little oh, key shit. card to get in here. Oh shit. It's free security. Hey, hey you on point? I got you. Man. Facts. Facts. You heard me. So, so that means if you go to the strip club, and all because you give you giving back to you, you, you buying school supplies, right? No, nah, because from what I've been studying about the universe. Okay, talk. Okay, to so me. look. Talk to me. This nigga this, is I amazing. Got this theory, right? Come on, talk to me. Well, you remember when Soldier Boy first came out? 
he had those fucking, those glasses, right? The flea market joint where he took the white out and he wrote Soldier Boy on them. Damn. What was he doing? Manifesting. Because next time you saw them fucking glasses, they was Gucci. You have to flex and fake ball so you can ball in real life. Fake it till so you when, make it. No, that's 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 that, that 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 phrase right there. It put a certain type of like. It, makes you feel it made out. people like it turns people off of it. Not fake it till you make it. What but is you it? have to be able to practice. Oh, okay. You All gotta right. get in the routine right. of having the shit that you want. All right. Okay. Cool. I like. So that. it's not that you faking it. You really just practicing. You getting you getting a but position. But when you really got it. Right. But I when got you. you if you pretend that you have right. it and you get everything right, you know how to treat this shit, you know how to fix this shit if it break, you don't give a fuck if this shit break, you just get another. Ball so of orientation. You get your real shit, you got an appreciation yeah. for it. Ball of training. Kind of. Yeah. Why the fuck would you just, why would your first car be a Range Rover? Talk to me. What it should be? Your first girlfriend ain't going to be no 10. You got to get in the habit of having nice shit so you can work your way up. Yeah. If you want a chain, why would your first chain be a big $10,000 chain? Nigga, you got to have you a $400 <laughs> chain first. With, with, the one, with the one letter. You feel right, me? Yeah. With right. the initial on that bitch. Work your way up to your whole name. You got to do it. Right. Whatever you want to have in life, you got to start at the bottom first. You don't okay. never start off on top of okay. nothing. Okay, so... If I want to rob somebody, I just hey, I no, die. Right. Now see, see that, that's, you that's took it somewhere. Well. You, you said you I got to start at the bottom, so I robbed the pizza uh, man first. No, 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 nah, no. Nah, we're not promoting we that. We don't apply nothing to violence. We're not promoting that, nigga. We're not no. getting you to work your way up to a if bank, If you got nigga, enough no. time to sit there and think of some evil shit, you got enough time to think of the right shit to do, too. Okay, cool. Why the fuck would you? He don't own the pizza place. Why would you You said work your way up. You said you got to practice to get what you want. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. You fucked it up. No, you don't. Expe crime is almost dead anyway. We living in the age of technology. Yeah. You can't even talk shit and say the wrong shit without them people showing. You yeah. say the right shit. They on your ass. They know where you been, where you Facts. ate today. They know who you talk to, who you text, who who you show your dick to. They know. They have all the information. You're not getting away with shit no more. I gotta stop it, man. Yeah, you definitely do. I gotta stop. You it. really gotta stop anything gotta, that you ever I did. Stop. I gotta stop that's that might fucking cause the end of your fucking empire. Look how many people going down now for a titty they grabbed 30 years ago. Damn. That's why a freak can come out. You can't freak nobody. That's why a freak can come out. It was going triple platinum. You can't freak. Me. You gotta just make sure that they sign the paperwork. Instagram did all that, bro. No, know? it didn't. Yes, it did, you man. Can't blame social media on them. People did that. Bro, listen. I remember when. Chicks was fine. You nope. use like an urban, you like an urban fucking legend. Used to whisper about you. No. Nope. Now, people fuck. It's not like that. The freaks, the people who did that shit the wrong way. The motherfuckers who didn't. I have disagree, Los. Come on, I bro. Disagree. No, them, I that's disagree. the whole they took thing. The mystique. It's social media. People who didn't no. have took the mystique out of everything. No. Ruined it for everybody. No. But see, this is the thing. This is the thing that I disagree about in that regard because. That I will say, it, I'm not going to blame social media, but I will say the internet, the access to the information change people's perspectives. They learn all these new words and all these new definitions of words and Facts, all this narcissism. You never watch one of them awful exactly. videos and thought, I wonder if they wanted to be there. They had they, consent. Niggas just learned narcissism. Niggas just learned that word now, 30 years later, people are questioning like, did they sign the permission slip to be in? Matter of fact, let's look up what this means and what that means. And you didn't have the access to that information back in the day. If you wanted to be offended by Uncle Luke in 1991 when they was popping pussy and all that, you had to get dressed and go outside and get in your car and, and go to the library and get the information and find see. out where they was going to be and go down there and write a picket sign and go out Facts. there and stand out there and hold the picket sign up and hope somebody's seen it. Now all you have to do is pick your phone up. Facts, man. Huh? Y'all only looking at it from one side. Bruh, they took the, the mystique the out of it. The same way it could be used for good. Strip clubs, too. You had to really go bad. to a strip club to see pussy. You had to go, you had to, go to see it. Pussy is on your club. explore page now. It's on the explore page. It's right there. It's, it's a trap. There's so much ass you got to unfollow. Eight in the it's, morning. It is a trap. Oh. They showing us all these naked women making I, us believe that that shit is in reality. Mm -hmm. And it's really just not that. We don't know if that shit is AI. I know. We don't know if that shit was shot today or in 1998. 
We don't know if these people are alive. <laughs> we don't know if these women are in jail. All we see are the sh is the Hold shit up, that now. they the make woman, us see. The woman see. in jail is nice. Shout out to all my no, it's free, not. Free all my like, yeah, it's free y'all. I'm just saying. Free y'all. We don't know. It's motherfuckers coming up missing each and every day. We don't know if it's a studio where they making people come out and fake happy and take what pictures. The, what the clone Tyrone what you talking about? I'm just <laughs> saying motherfuckers is coming up missing every day. Tell me, tell me, what the fuck? Did you just blow kisses to bitches in jail For like real. they can watch this in the day room? They're they they not they, gonna see they shot up. <laughs> I'm trying to reach it, man. I'm trying, they, 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 you know somebody it's probably- free all my little, yeah, free y'all. Somebody, somebody recording it. I'm what you call it? Them. My little jail, yeah? My little jail, yeah, you know? <laughs> so you see them chicks in the free world? They ain't, they ain't right. Where would you say that 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 terminology came from? Like, that my little yeah, and all, because New Orleans has produced some of the most legendary slang, you know well, what I mean? From us, from us. I just made them popular. Uh, La Yeah, Ho Ho Out Ya, Scary La Bitch Please. Uh, all that scary stuff Bitch from Please. here. Scary La Bitch Please. My partner, uh, Cali Oval, had a song called Like Yeah a long, long time ago. Uh, and I, I just resurfaced it. Uh, you, yeah, get mean good or bad. Like, if you get into the nigga and he be like, I'm gonna get my yeah, you better leave, because if he come back, you're gonna be a no. All right? Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, give me mean good weed. Like, you know, you call your homie, what's up, but you got that yeah, but you know I got that yeah, that yeah with the yeah, you know? You feel me? And then it mean, you know, you got a, 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 a chick, she nice. Now if she, if she, if she a yeah, that mean, yeah, she yeah, but if, the, if that's your little yeah, then that's you. Oh, okay. That's my like yeah with the yeah. That, that's your lady. Mm. It's so crazy that I understand exactly what it is and you're talking about. That's, and crazy. That's, that's, that's not crazy. You feel me? We just connected. You feel me? Yeah. We like, yeah. Because yeah. your little yeah could turn straight into your little whoop de whoop. She can, fact is, then she can be a no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got yeah. yes and no. Not, 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 if she not, if she not, if she not all that, she'll a no. She'll a uh uh. She'll a uh uh. Mm mm. Uh, mm mm. So is it a difference between an uh uh and mm mm? Uh uh can be like, all right. Okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, like, mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't fuck, all right, don't fuck with that. All right. Don't fuck with that. All right. no, That's most bad. definitely. Appreciate that. You got to have a standard about yourself. Some type of standard. I don't really have that many, but you don't? I have a few. I like who like me. That That's probably where you start fucking up at. I, I like who now, like me. Now, it's a lot easier to fuck with somebody who already like you off the top. It's you show them you like me. That's like where a lot too. of men fucking up at. They trying to make a motherfucker like them. Can't you got to fuck with who like you already. Nice. Yeah. Don't nice. never convince nobody. Saying, cause I mean, it might be worth convincing to you, but and you don't really want to convince and nobody. Women, women these days aggressive, like they don't care about your children. You gotta pick your son up, nothing. They just want them. Wow, <laughs> that, have, that sounds personal. <laughs> I had experience. He day. said they don't pick your son up. <laughs> no, like she I wouldn't was, pick your son up. No, she she didn't care about me. Gonna pick my son up. She just wanted her. She 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 was and women in New Orleans be like, let me get me. Oh, not meats. Let me get me. You know, I'm like I gotta pick my son up. She's like, I don't care about your son. So that hurts you kind of. It hurt deep, me hard. I gotta, get my, I gotta get my child, bro. It wasn't her child though. It wasn't. So know? how did it make you feel? It made me feel turned on, and I love him. I went. I had to go pay extra money to pick him up because he had, you know, it was extra fee. It turned me on. I can't relate to them struggles, you know. This hey, nigga's crazy. Keep doing your thing in these streets, bro. And, you know, <laughs> making love to these women, man. Making love, right? You gotta right. start, hey, man, fellas who watching this. Start back making love once a week, man. They don't want to make on love, On Sundays, bro. man. Make love to on Sunday. Yeah. Put some old school R&B on. And if you don't know how to make sheets. love, just, just fuck slow. <laughs> These chicks want to fuck you off a of sexy rave. Yeah, I'm just telling. No, nah, but I'm saying even still, fuck slow. Off slow a sexy rave? On Sunday. Make love. Oh. Right. On oh, Sundays, make love? I ain't make gonna lie. Make love. That was the good old days, bro. I still, R&B music is gold, so I get it. I kind of get it. You don't yeah. need R and B music to make love. Got some music, what? You can make love off no music. You can just be in her ear whispering shit. Facts. You turn right. that light off in the kitchen. Right, right. That's what yeah. You got it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you ask for. That driveway, ask. that driveway door down. You, you let the garage so you down. Turn that light off in the kitchen. Yes, daddy. That's when you ask what you want. Right there, right there, there. Facts. Taxes. You be asking women for shit? Yeah. Why would you set yourself up for such a defeat? I don't ask, I uh, I suggest. Like what? I'd be like, man, listen, I think you should give me something to eat. It, it'll benefit you. Hand me that lighter. How 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 does that work out for you? Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. 
So you try to like re reverse psychology that shit. So I got to, because they getting strong work. out here. You know what I'm saying? And, and I play like, I, I, uh, I turn into, uh, act, if she want to be, if she want to be, you know, cool. I, right, I, I got a question for you. I'm going to ask you no relationship advice because you don't really know shit about No, man. I'm about I to don't. ask him I a don't. question. Since, I don't. You, since you said that, like, what's the most expensive thing you ever got a woman and what's the most expensive thing a woman ever got you? Uh, I ain't going to lie. I can't put a price on peace. That was cold. I can't put a price on peace. Yeah. That's the most expensive thing I ever got from a woman. We not together right now. We working on it, but she, that's what she uh, she gave me a lot of peace. And then she turned to Chucky one night, and it's. And she then, showed you the real her. Yeah, she turned to Chucky one night, and she ain't been right since. She getting back to it, but uh, the most. You know, the relationship ain't ain't real till you see a man for real one time. Yeah. Even if some shit that you ain't got nothing to do with you, you just still, still need still to real observe. Still real mad. Yeah. Like, not, I, it's, it's scary, but that's true. You don't really know nobody until you ain't got nothing. When you down, or when they mad, you know. It's it's easy to to do stuff when you're in a good position and when you're happy when you're happy. But you know, I don't think one thing I, I do know for sure, I don't think we we should be pressuring each other pressuring each other to make each other happy. Like that should be something already in you. Yeah, when you people go to relationship. need to just make up their own shit. Right. Trying to compare like this is the right way to do that shit. It ain't no really no, no right no, way no, to do that exactly. shit. Exactly. It's just about how much can y'all agree to do this shit right together between the both of y'all. Patience, that you're saying, like some patience involved, pretty much, because shit, it really don't matter, because everybody got their own definition of whatever the situation is. So niggas really fussing over an illusion. You feel me? Yeah. So, but you know, women and accountability don't go together. The you only can't one really say that. That's it, that's because that's who, a blanket. Who the last woman you heard apologize? It's a black blanket woman. statement. Nita Baker. It's just like if they say all oh, niggas ain't shit. It ain't that they don't. It's just some hey, of daddy. most hey, of them. Wasn't. Some of them. There's some good ones out there. Black men don't cheat, right? Ever. Like Jesus said, real niggas don't cheat. For what? For what? Like, you sitting here, we talking about all this shit, right? Why would you want to pile on problems? That's true. That's why I'm believing uh, having on three wives and all that shit. That's three birthdays, three attitudes. Uh, That's a lot. Right. How about two then? Nigga? Nah, that's too much. <laughs> we can get a girlfriend for like six months or something. Nah. That's it. Nah. I'll probably nah. like for a week. No, nah, weekend. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's they too much. Too. That's too much, bro. You don't, they, you def, I don't know. You definitely don't Can you, don't can you imagine breaking up a fight between bo both of your wives? You're going to die. Something's going to happen to you. They don't even, they both mad at you at the same time. At the same time. Yeah, they, they prayers and synced up. You're in trouble. Double mad. They double print. They double praying on you. What if they love each other more than they love you? God damn, that's, that's like, actually a blessing. That's what I would want. I would want them to care about each other more than they did me. Just you a case. selfless nigga. Just in I case. think you just be knowing the right shit to say. No, I would. Yeah, that's I would what that was. Them DC I would want niggas them to. smooth. Nah, I would really want them but to. But think that's about it. Is, that, if you that, got that, two you know. women, you wanted to be. You want to kind of feel like you in between both of them. Nah. If they move you too far to the left, that shit gonna you feel the weird. You out the picture, brother. But that means that I've created an environment where two bl black women could be successful within themselves, and that is a win for me. What if they both leave at the same time? At the same time. At the same time, cut their hair and get a one bedroom apartment. Exactly. Cut you completely out the deal. I take, mean, hey. take cut a side deal like G Money. I mean, <laughs> hey, long, <laughs> <laughs> long as I don't find out they police like Ice T, I'm straight. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a win. Nah, I had a question for you, though, man. Like, bullshit. you know, in this comedy game, it's a lot of things that, you know, people strive to be in. It's hard for people to be able to create their own desires and goals. Like, so what is your. If you can say some of your goals are that you've achieved already and some that you are looking to achieve. I'm on new goals, bro. I didn't achieve all of them. Uh, I'm, a success, I'm a successful comedian. I take care of my family off of doing what I love to do. I already made it. Now I'm trying to get in position so I can get my people in position. You feel me? I'm not straight. I'm not new where I want to be at yet, but as far as, like, you know, with, the, with being, being creative and being a creator and just having a... Uh, that mentality, I just gotta make sure I spread that shit around me, you know, so that way I don't want nobody to ever feel like they can't do nothing. So I gotta be, a, I always gotta be, I always gotta be, I feel like I always gotta be an instant sign of hope, cause it's a dark place sometimes. So, man, I just think that the, you know, my my surroundings and my environment drive me. Dog, listen. So we don't get no book on this shit. So why even worry about you know fucking up? 
I think a lot of times niggas be worried about not looking like they don't know how to do something. And so they don't just give it their full effort. Niggas just don't apply themselves. I apply myself all the time, each way. It don't even matter what the fuck going on. It's all I got, dog. I know, know but I know the feeling, bro. It's all I got. Because so it's, it's mental. It's mental. It's all because mental. Because I'm a statistic, too. Right. You might not know this, bro, by looking at me and the way that I care myself and just being the happy person that I am. But I'm somebody's baby daddy, bro. I understand. <laughs> Come on, Carlos, right? Come on. No, listen to what I'm saying. I'm not somebody's husband. Right. I'm not somebody's motherfucking son. I'm, I'm a statistic. I'm a baby father. And if I can do it, you could do it. You're a father of a kid. No, I'm somebody's baby dad. That's don't what they, say that. Don't use baby daddy. Standards. Don't use I'm baby just daddy, a baby bro. daddy, say, Mario. Say I'm a father of a child. No, that don't make you feel no better. It, when like, I go in there and I tell them people that, hey, I'm an entertainer, you know what they walk off and they say? What? He's a great guy. I love him for the role. But he made some of the wrong decisions. He's somebody baby daddy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, man. What the nigga. fuck? Scientific Do you not know the it. stigma that comes along with being somebody's man, baby you father? Stupid, bro. A lot, a lot. I ain't gonna lie. I, that means I gotta go out here and work twice as hard. Right. Like if you a baby, that's like that's like that's like saying you a felon or some shit, huh? Right, huh? No, nah, not quite. Shit. But it's close. It's shit. close. It ain't Look, gonna. As soon as I said baby daddy, what happened? Yeah. Cyrus start coming on. I just said it's like calling. It ain't gonna stop you from getting a job, but it won't stop her from coming up to it when you get one. <laughs> that's how you gotta look at it. You know who don't like baby. You know who like baby daddies? My dog, my dog, my dog from New Orleans, CP Tyler Perry. He don't like baby daddies. He put baby daddies in all his movies. Think about that. But that's what I'm saying. That's just another roadblock I gotta overcome as a baby father. We need to start a baby daddy organization. I have this stuff called One Eight Hundred uh, uh, Abuse Baby Daddies. It's a skit. Look at Chico. He he don't even want to speak right now. He's shook. A One Eight Hundred. You know what? What's up? He didn't want to tell you. What's up? And I ain't the type of person to put nobody else's but business go ahead, put out, it out like there. that. I'm somebody's baby daddy too. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I am. I it's am. all right, bro. And I, and I just I don't even like that you would bring up such a traumatic situation. We need to. We need to start. Yet. We need to talk about. Like, we this. don't even have anybody here. And they Facts. say that black men get on these podcasts with these microphones, which is why I'm opposed to doing podcasts Facts. with Facts. these kind of microphones because it's a stigma <laughs> that goes along yep. with that now. But Absolutely we got to right. be more open and honest about the decisions we made right. as men to become baby fathers. But now, I watch all daddies. these clips online of people just saying ridiculous things. Right, we do great. We do great. We but I want to say some ridiculous things, too. About what? Some of the hurdles I had to overcome What's some as a baby what? father. Like when you're dealing with new women, you got to convince them that you're a good father because you they know you somebody's baby daddy. I say right. he high, but, but if you he was an ain't shit father, they wouldn't even ask. At, at all. But when you're an active baby daddy, and you got obligations and shit and toys to put together. Right, stepping on toys Baseball and shit. games and shit right, to go right. to you like you an active, present father. Then they talk to you like, yo, my they child. They act like they need to approve your father, sh like your, you as a father like, first. Who, like, who made you Mother Hubbard? Exactly. Who made you the mother of mothers? You ever been judged as a father by a woman who didn't have one? All the Don't time. even do that. All the That's time. unfair to them because they're not the here to represent All themselves. the time. All the we're time. We're not going to speak on people. All the time. We're All not going to time. speak on the people that hurt us, Chico. Chico While we're trying to talk to this man about New Orleans, thank you're you going to bring up a traumatic situation That's like that. My bad. That's very traumatic because these women down here, they drink like their daddy and they don't have no daddy. You done got Mario scared. Right, look how he, look how he clutching this. We might have this. to wrap this up. Look, Chico, look how he clutching this shirt. I don't know how, how back was. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I think we might have took it I too far. I don't want this to turn into therapy. Look at all the black men. Them niggas was taking pictures. Now they standing in the straight line like scared, the nation is Because they're scared. They're scared. They're scared. <laughs> they scared. They brought up everybody every in nigga, every, every nigga in the Every nigga in the world has got an old lady. looking straight ahead like somebody's Every nigga in the world who got an old lady scared of the old lady. Every nigga in New Orleans who got an old lady scared of the old lady. We don't even get to speak on like nine the trauma, do we, fellas? They like the feds. We don't get to speak on nine trauma. You know, my, my, my baby mama, she had some shit called the baby mama police. I went to jail for attempted cheating, first degree cheating. I am an arm runner, bitch. Arm cheating. It was tough. I just got off of papers. She got a file cabinet, a, a, a screenshot. It's terrible. You I, made I, this nigga over here pull his poo shiesty mask I, down. He I want was, people was, to see his I was, face. I was with my homie. Like, this nigga had his mask shoot. up. You said baby father. That nigga was like, wait a minute. This is something I need to see. <laughs> my whole face open. <laughs> Facts. 
facts. That shit happened, man. You, see, you said that real shit. I had to stop it. Yeah. I wasn't gonna even let you get it, go into that. All right, I got you. Mm-hmm. I got you. They're gonna say you bashing. Yeah, you're right. Shame you're right. it. You're right. They yeah, right. Being a bully, they would flag that clip for Facts. bullying. Yeah, Facts. Bullying. You're right. Harassment. Right. Harassment. Abusive right. language. Black right. men ain't shit. Right. See? But that goes. Men ain't shit. That's accept. Uh, what, at what age can, can't can women say men ain't shit? What's the age limit? 30. You need to raise that bitch higher. No, they get the My mama 30. was still, my mama, fresh out of jail, nigga, was like, your daddy ain't shit. I'm like, nigga. You know how long she been, been waiting to say life. that? She been waiting about? to tell you that. Like, how? Like, what are you talking? He been here. Your dad ain't shit. How? What you that you know well, you what never that means. You never know. You never know what the reason behind that. That means that she, he wouldn't do like what she wanted him to do. Yeah, I look like the nigga. That's why. Yeah, that's that's what I learned in that situation. When they say men ain't shit, that means that the shit that they trying to convince niggas to do ain't working. That's just like somebody not believing your lie. Women powerful, bro. Can I ask y'all a question? Y'all think woman to go? Y'all think God a woman? I don't think God is a person. Yeah, I think God is energy, but I think that his representative is definitely a woman. Mm. Chico. Feminine energy is is definitely what what controls the universe. It does. It can't like, just be that. I'm saying because like you if you got to hold up. All right. If you saying that part, you got always look at the duality of life. No, for it's, sure. It's that shit is powerful because it has an opposite. Yeah. You can't just have one of nothing. You dig what I'm saying? So as powerful as the feminine is, it's it's that powerful in the opposite form also. It's like negative and positive. It's that's not even what it's called. That's some shit that we have to use to be able to identify what those two opposite ends are. So somewhere along the universe, there's a parallel of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's not called negative and positive. But it's the same. Attra- it's like the law of attraction. I just think it's what, the application what, of said energy. When the no, wouldn't the Nobel Pre- Peace Prize is going on? I mean, I oh. just think it's the application of said energy. It's that we. What, abli- what energy application? Is applied better than masculine abli- energy is in 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 a month. No, it's like they both have to coexist at the same time for either one I of be- them I to believe, be powerful. I believe that. I believe that. The application is, is so to, definitely more effective. You can't apply that to God side. because God is a superior, supreme yeah. being. But you don't think women are superior? Don't, don't think women have superior entity energy? God created that. So if you think that 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 is a factor of God, you are you are miscalculating. A beautiful woman can stop traffic. They don't have your brain to do stop with like it. scientifically your brain shuts down. It can stop traffic for you. It might not stop traffic for him. You gonna stop traffic for him? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I got you. We life is we all having a we all live in the same life, but we're all having a different experience. Right. I agree with That's that. That's true. That's true. I agree with that. You don't think girl? You don't think they rule the world? Say what? You don't think women rule the world? Women? How? I mean, you could say that in a sense. So what? Like an eight? If it was a ten? No. Nah. Seven? Nah. The things that women do is so important that it's actually a, I got a, an asset I and got a commodity. You. I got you. So in that sense, yes, they have a product that will never not sell. So they do yeah. <laughs> do that. Oh, no, that's true. But it's if you're talking things, about just in positions things. of power, of running Without the world, question. absolutely three not. Three things that sell anywhere, guns, gold, and Go. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you said it the second. Yeah, time. all the way. The facts, man. Yeah. But what's what's what you got coming up, man? Uh, I didn't mean to get too deep. No, I, no, I ain't no, no such thing. I, 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 no such I'm not thing. no shallow nigga. I I have these conversations. Uh, these conversations are always happening. You know, the weed my home kicked is, in, bro. Like That's the weed kicking, we would have running it. Like uh, my office, my I don't have no TVs or nothing in my office. So you need some. These conversations. Uh, because you and when you're creating in your office, you need to be able to bring fresh energy I, in whenever. I you watch need a movie. Nigga, on what? That's how they, that's how they bring the game over there. Come on, man. You, you, no you, you bored, bro. Come on, them? man. You need a game to play. I don't give a damn game. So you just in the office handling straight business. Straight business. Straight that's business. That's what it is. Straight business. Straight business. Straight. That's that's it's the block. Yeah. You gotta, gotta phone, play like man. that. That's it. You got a, you got a phone? Yeah, I got two phones. Computer. Like an office phone? No, I got a, a, oh, a you flip got a cell phone. phone. Like a pop phone. You, you got a computer? Uh, in that no, a, a computer. Why I need to know what's in your office? Do you uh, got some liquor in your bottom drawer? I don't know. I don't got nothing else in my. In, I, I, I put have, some in my bottom drawer because I see it in all the movies I, when I the keep, lawyers they had ketchup, a little liquor ketchup, in the bottom ketchup drawer. Ketchup and hot sauce. Gotta keep ketchup and hot sauce in my office. All right. I got uh, like I said, I got this comedy show coming up with my homies. Uh, me, Shotty, Feel Good, Two Real Mac, That Feet, uh, Ruju, High Boys of Comedy. Ruju with them yes. loud ass outfits. Yeah, yeah. 
That nigga gonna wear some bullshit. I don't get shout out to my nigga Rude Jew. Shout Jude. out to Rude Jew. And he gonna talk shit. That boy Rude Jew be dressing like a Christian, uh, a Chanel Muslim. Uh, <laughs> where, where the show at? Uh, Jazz Market Theater. Uh, it's gonna be dope, bro. I'm like, I'm excited to do the show with them. We was on tour together. Uh, p- the pandemic shut it down. Uh, we was doing our thing, man. People were showing us love. We were doing two shows a night. Yeah. It was a, a 12 city tour. We was on city city number eight. And that's when the pandemic kicked in. So this, to be uh, to be honest, we didn't do no shows in New Orleans. So the show the show damn that sold out. Uh, it's gonna be a real great show though. I, I can I can I can like damn that sense it, because whenever we do get together and do stuff like this, it's always it's top always notch. big top notch. That's you what's know, up. Nothing's bigger than the sea. To me, the culture nothing's bigger than that, and that's what I, I thrive on. You feel me? So I keep it included in what I'm doing. I can't. I feel like I can't lose if I do that. So, you can't, man. Man, what's your social media, bro? I got three of them now. And what is it? Mario Dentertainer, underscore. Mario Dentertainer, no underscore. And promo by Mario. You yeah. do be doing some fool ass promo. Yeah, right? I yeah. do. Yeah, thank you. I be, I be, that's, that's the game. And you, for know, me. you know you good at it when you can promo shit that you can't even use. Yeah, facts. Like, uh, this chick gave me an infused KY jelly. If I ain't, I ain't what? Oh, my bad, bro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my we bad. are the 85 yeah. South Show at the See, Backwoods I'm Lounge. You, she gave me that. I can't at the Jet that. Life Studios with that. Mario the Entertainer. That's, dude, we I can't, gonna stop at I, the Infused KY Jelly. I couldn't promote that's, it. I can't promote it. Yeah, yes, you right. did. You did it. You used it too, but we're not gonna talk about that. I did that. take the money. Yeah, you did. took it and I you used, used it. it. I didn't. I hate now. I say you used it. You're I said you used it. Get your game on. Hey, hold on. I didn't use it. Like, but I used it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, another great episode. Uh, oh, another one. Mario, Lounge. The freak ass. Mario, <laughs> freak ass entertainer. It's all love. Thank y'all. Appreciate Underscore it. with the KY infused <laughs> jelly. Thank y'all for having me, bro. I appreciate y'all, dog. Love to you, love. brother. You know it. You know it. You know it, dog. Appreciate you.